Hey everyone, it's Narissa Nicole. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a giant Dollar Tree haul. So I visited two Dollar Trees, or I'm getting ready to visit the second one um, this weekend to stock up on some of my favorite Dollar Tree items as well as um, some crafting items and some items that I want to grab for DIY gifts. So stay tuned for those videos. So let me go in here, grab my stuff, and I will show you what I got. Okay guys, so I'm back from my epic Dollar Tree haul. Now let me show you what all I got. Dollar Tree has out all their gardening supplies and they have a ton and I just love going through all the gardening supplies. Well, <laughs> so these are actually faux flowers, um, obviously, but Dollar Tree has such a wide variety and great selection of ring faux flowers. This one is hyacinth, white hyacinth, so pretty. I got a couple of those. I also grabbed a purple lilac. They also had a lighter purple and a white lilac. And then these must be really popular because these were the only two that I could find. I would probably have grabbed a few more if they had them. But these are just labeled wildflowers and um, they at least have blue and white. And then the greenery on them is just gorgeous. So check these out if you are at Dollar Tree and look around the floral section they're really really pretty all right you may not think of Dollar Tree being a place that you can grab seeds but you can and they do have a wide variety now one Dollar Tree I went to was basically completely sold out and the other Dollar Tree that I went to had plenty so if you're interested in finding any of these seeds you might want to go pretty quickly but I got a variety of herbs and also flowers they do have vegetables but it's getting a little late for me to um, plant vegetable seeds uh, but some of these flowers and the herbs grow quickly so it's not something that you have to start indoors but I got sage and thyme, basil and parsley, some oregano, and then also four packs of zinnia. So these are 25 cents a pack. You cannot beat that. That's probably why they go so quickly, but go check out your Dollar Tree so you can have them for yourself or so that you can include them in gift baskets for the spring, like for Mother's Day. Dollar Tree also has spring bulbs. One of these didn't have any, and the other one was quite a bit picked over, so definitely go check these out as well. These are yellow gladiolus and they are so pretty and it comes in a package of six bulbs. They did have different colors and then they also had a multi-pack so I'm excited to get these in the ground this spring. I also grabbed a little three pack of these super cute and tiny terracotta pots. These are great for starting your herbs and stuff in too. Three for a dollar and you can't beat that. You can also paint these and decorate them any way you want. It's a great way to get your kids involved with gardening as well. I went ahead and grabbed a garden spade it was nice and green which is going to fit into one of my gift basket theme ideas for Mother's Day I get these every year at Dollar Tree they are plant labels they are perfect they're plastic so they don't degrade over the summer they're easy to write on they're white so you can see them easily this is definitely a must-have for me at Dollar Tree I also grabbed a pair of these super cute gardening gloves in this pretty green floral color they had all different designs and colors to choose from. Can never have too many gardening gloves. All right, I also grabbed one of these reusable tote bags. And this one is perfect color to go along with one of my gift, gift basket ideas. And it can not only be used for the obvious purposes, but you can also take this outside when you're weeding and gardening and use it to collect your gardening waste. And it has a handle. So it makes it easy to transport back and forth to your compost pile. Dollar Tree also has a great variety of different planters. This one was one of the bigger ones that I could find. It is plastic, of course, only a dollar, but you can't beat this nice big planter for only a dollar. You could keep it green or keep it the color that it comes in, but you could also do some awesome DIYs and completely repurpose it or use it as a planter. I also grabbed a set of these little garden gnomes. Actually, these are frogs and a bird. I have a variety of garden gnomes already from Dollar Tree. That is definitely the place to go if you are looking to make a little fairy garden. They have such great options in these little figurines and houses and all the 
accessories and these are really expensive at other stores so definitely check out Dollar Tree for all of your fairy garden building needs. I also grabbed one bag of this seed starting potting mix at Dollar Tree. It is a nice little bag and it is perfect for someone who just wants to start a few seeds indoors in the spring. It's not too much. I generally will buy a bigger bag and then I have way too much left over. So this is a great way to go. Only a dollar. You can't beat that. Then I also grabbed two of these shallow garden dishes. These are plastic and see-through and, and have tons of different uses as well. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. Then this is another like must-have item for me at Dollar Tree. These cocoa liners, they are what? About 12 inches in diameter. These are also really expensive. So these are great to just throw in your hanging baskets. It keeps the dirt in place and it also retains moisture. Definitely can't beat this for a dollar. I grabbed these two placemats. You can see I got one that says blessed. It is black and distressed. And then I got another one that says home sweet home. This one's navy blue. These are super cute and have such great options for DIYs. So I grabbed two of those. Then sticking with the kitchen theme, I also grabbed two cutting boards. These are awesome finds at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. They come in different shapes and sizes. These are just regular square white plastic ones. They also have wooden ones and other plastic ones in different shapes. I also grabbed two splatter guards. These are also for DIYs. They have nice screens that you can utilize for DIYs as well as this metal circle. All different types of things you can do with those. Then I grabbed three wooden cooking utensils. I grabbed like a slotted spoon, a turner or scraper, and then also a fork. These are great for a dollar too. They last a really long time. They are also great gift idea options, which I am planning on doing with these. I also grabbed a pair of these little mini tongs. These are great in the kitchen, but they're also great when you are crafting. Dollar Tree has such a great selection of oven mitts and also kitchen towels and they change them out often with the seasons. This one I grabbed just a plain turquoise oven mitt and a plain turquoise towel. Again, great gift basket options. I also grabbed one of these metal baking sheets or cookie trays. These are awesome for DIYs too. So many different options but also if you need a smaller cookie tray you could also add this to your kitchen utensil. All right, so this is, I think, the only food item I got. I got a small package of the blueberry muffin mix. It says it makes six muffins. That's awesome because you know what? Sometimes you don't need 12 or 18 muffins. This is perfect and another great option to throw in a gift bag. I always like to grab sponges at the Dollar Tree, and these are my favorite ones right now. They have um, a nail guard, I guess, so you can grab them and scrub. Um, they're also great to wash knives with this little crease right here. I also needed some like heavy duty pads so these are just plain scouring pads. They come five to a package and I was all out so I grabbed some of those. Then I also grabbed two boxes of the baking soda that goes in your refrigerator in your freezer or in your closet or wherever you like but these have the nice pull off tabs right here. So you just pull this off and it exposes the baking soda here and you can just easily throw this in your refrigerator and trade them out when they are expired. Sometimes I have difficulty finding these so it's really nice to be able to find them at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. All right, then I also grabbed some of this Fabuloso Refreshing Lemon Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I live in the country and let's just say sometimes when you need a bug repellent, it's great to clean everything with a lemon scent. Bugs don't like lemon. I also grabbed one of these small spray bottles. Dollar Tree also has some of the big spray bottles, but this one is a smaller version. And actually the reason that I grabbed this was for my son. He loves to run around in mist water. So I grabbed him one that was just his size. I also grabbed some children's hangers. They come six in a pack and you can actually get them a little bit cheaper. I think like at Target and maybe Walmart but these are always in stock at my Dollar Tree. They come in pink, blue, and white, so they are just a little more convenient for me to just grab for a dollar. All right, so moving on to some household items. These are glass candlesticks, and they are great for DIYs. You can use them to raise up your picture frames, raise up any crafty item that you make. You can paint them in any color. You can stack them. You can make tiered trays with them. They are awesome. These are just the regular glass candlesticks. Dollar Tree has a wide variety of all different types of candle pedestals and candle holders. I also grabbed a few different types of moss. I grabbed two packages of this reindeer moss. It's 
really pretty and great deal for a dollar. And then I grabbed a bag of this Spanish moss. Then I also grabbed a few different picture frames and also decorative frames. So I grabbed a couple of these. They have glass in the middle middle they're kind of like shadow boxes and these are really easy to customize you can easily take off the sayings if you don't like the sayings that are on there and you can also paint the frames you can do all different types of things with these and then i also grabbed two of these just wooden picture frames these are super cute and definitely easy to customize as well all right now moving on to just a hodgepodge of crafting items that i wanted to stock up on and that I will be using in the future. I grabbed some of this colored sand. This is the only color they had left at my Dollar Tree, this green. They also have other colors, so I'm gonna to to keep an eye out for that. I also grabbed two different stickers. This one is actually a wall decal. It says, be grateful, but endless uses here. And then also these rub-on transfers. They have a ton of different options at Dollar Tree. This is the eucalyptus leaf pack. Like I said, they have a ton of different options, so check out your crafter's corner for these rub-ons. Then I grabbed a few of these wooden boxes. These are great for DIYs too. You can put them together, you can decorate them separately, you can store things in them, you can paint them and customize them any way you want. Dollar Tree has a wide variety of wooden blanks these days, so get them while you can because they go quick. Speaking of wooden items at Dollar Tree, I grabbed three packages of these wooden dowels. They are 12 inches long. These are great to have on hand. Then I also grabbed five packages of these little wooden cubes. These are awesome for supporting your crafts that need a a little extra support when you're like using your hot glue gun you can also glue these together and make bigger blocks or different shapes these are awesome to have on hand as well and the first dollar tree that i went to was all out but luckily the second dollar tree my dollar tree that i go to most often had plenty in stock so i went ahead and grabbed five to keep them in my stash another crafters square item that i grabbed was this little art palette they have several different versions of this great for crafting or kids project and i also grabbed this little jar of buttons these are darker colored buttons and they come in a variety of sizes in this jar. They do have different color options, but this is a great little find for $1 only. Then I went ahead and grabbed another one of these lace ribbons. This is in the floral section. I was actually surprised that my Dollar Tree had this in stock because it is usually a popular item. And I do have a couple, but I went ahead and grabbed another one just to throw in my stash. Then I grabbed two of these 8x10 plastic horizontal picture frames. These are made out of acrylic plastic and I have a great DIY planned for this so stay tuned. All right, I also grabbed this red folder. I needed some red plastic for one of my DIYs so I was happy to be able to find this red folder even though it's not during the back to school time. They still have a wide selection of folders to choose from. And then lastly for the crafting items I went ahead and grabbed this faux wood adhesive covering paper. They have several different versions of this. I went ahead and grabbed the wood one. This is great to use as a shelf or drawer liner. That's its intended purpose, but also great for DIYs as well. And I did grab a couple of gift bags or things to put gifts in. This was in the Easter section or the spring section. It is such a cute little gift bag and it's actually really big and it's really well made for only a dollar. So you can see it's actually pretty big and has this gorgeous floral print on both sides. So this is going to be great for for a Mother's Day gift DIY. Then I also grabbed a package of these basket bags. This is a great deal for a dollar too. It comes two to a bag and you can find these every day at Dollar Tree. They are a super simple and cute way to package up a gift for someone. Just slip it right in and tie it off with a cute bow. Then I only grabbed one piece of glassware. Usually I grab a ton more. I guess you could call the candlestick some glassware too, but I grabbed this cute little little glass bowl. I'm actually going to use this as a planter as part of a Mother's Day gift DIY and I'm so excited about this one so I can't wait to get started on that. All right now moving on to the beauty and self-care items. Dollar Tree has a lot of great self-care and beauty items. You just have to pay attention and watch some YouTube videos and see what people like and don't like. Some of this stuff is for me and some of this stuff is for gift basket ideas. Now I had just actually ordered some tinted or um, sunglasses readers on Amazon and when I got them in they were bifocals and they weren't exactly what I wanted so I returned them and then I go to Dollar Tree and I find these reader sunglasses for a dollar. So they had three different colors in the magnification that I needed. So 
I got this sort of brown tortoise shell pair and then I also got this black pair so you cannot beat that for a dollar these were on an end cap and I totally would have missed them they weren't near the eyeglass section so I was so glad that I found these at my Dollar Tree because the ones that I had ordered were like $20 and I got two pair for a dollar each all right then I also found these LA colors glow sticks they're highlighters I got one that is labeled halo as the color this one's more of like a champagne color and then I got one that is called poppin and it has a little bit more of a blush tone too so I'm really excited to try these out and swatch them I've seen them on some other channels and they had great reviews so I'm excited to give these a try I also grabbed a little bottle of nail polish this is the color 527 it is a very very pale pink almost white but with a little bit of a pink color this is a really popular color all right I also found some of these pedicure flip-flops these are an awesome deal for a dollar it actually comes with two pair so you can separate these include one in a gift basket and keep a pair for yourself this is the perfect item to pick up going into spring and summer Sticking with the theme of pedicures, I grabbed this cute little manicure set. This is super convenient to throw in your purse or gift basket as well. It's small and contained. The Bolero brand is a popular brand at Dollar Tree. They have a lot of great products. I found this paper facial mask. It says it's hydrating with watermelon and aloe. Paraben free and color free. This looked so refreshing and it has great reviews so I thought I would include this in one of my gift basket ideas. Who doesn't love a good facial mask? And then I went ahead and grabbed this small bag of lavender scent Epsom salts. This is a great find at Dollar Tree as well. Epsom salts have great health benefits. Throw them in your bath when you have achy muscles and joints and then enjoy that lavender smell. Lastly in the beauty and self-care products I guess I could include this is a foam soap dispenser hand soap dispenser this can be left as is or you can also use this top for making other diy soap dispensers but this one is bath and beauty and it's fresh scent lastly i have some miscellaneous items i had not seen this before and i hadn't seen anyone else haul it um but i grabbed this iridescent easter tree i'm not going to use it for easter um but i do plan on saving it for christmas they only had one in one of the stores that i visited but I thought it was super cute. It definitely has a really great white iridescent color and I think it would be a great for Christmas decor. I know, not really thinking of Christmas. It's only the beginning of April. But like I said, some of these items at Dollar Tree go so quickly. If you see them and you think you might enjoy them, you better grab it. Then bubbles. This is the best deal on bubbles that I have seen. My son is currently obsessed with bubbles. He has several different little bubble blowers. This is a 32 ounce giant container of bubbles only for a dollar. And I had just picked up a few probably not even maybe a third of this size at Walmart for a dollar so definitely go grab your bubbles at Dollar Tree I think it's probably your best value outside of maybe making it yourself then lastly I found this cute little disc bound notepad raise your hand if you know what disc bound systems are if you're a planner junkie like me it is like in a little notepad size that is super simple to throw in your purse these were not anywhere in any specific spot. I just found them randomly scattered um, throughout the store. Like people had picked them up and then decided that they didn't want them. But I had to grab this because I am a planner junkie and I hadn't seen them at my Dollar Tree before. All right, guys, that is it. Outside of a few little toy trucks that I got my son, which he already has grabbed and taken off with. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It contained a ton of different items for me and then also for my crafting and like DIY addiction. So stay tuned for future videos when I use all of this stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. And DIYing. So stay tuned for some of those videos coming in the future. Coming in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.